Hey what's up guys this is Byfrost here welcome back to a new video after a long time i usually like to come to this channel once in a while to cover something new and today i'll be talking about a major update related to skyline emulator which is pretty huge in my opinions i have put the change log of most recent updates of skyline emulator on the screen and one of the biggest change is the new ui redesign update from now onwards skyline will be shifting towards the material design 3 the latest updated ui which will also be coming to the mainline builds within few weeks currently this new theme is only available for skyline edge users not just that we have gotten more options in terms of settings so if i go to settings and click on use material ui i don't know why they wrote u instead of ui uh, doesn't make sense but anyways if we just go ahead and enable this option then it will shift to more purple version of theme so you'll notice little difference in the accents of skyline emulator now using skyline emulator's original colors doesn't make sense to me because i paid for the skyline edge so of course i'd prefer the golden theme if you guys know what i mean but not just that we have got an another option which says game sorting order along with that we have game display layout so three options are present personally list looks way cleaner uh, all the text is organized and it just looks better let me change the theme again to original skyline edge and now it looks even better with the gold accents i really like it but let's go back to settings let's check out the different display layout which is grid compact I personally prefer this uh, layout too. It looks pretty cool. The icons and text are little more organized, but it's totally about your preferences. So let me know in the comment section down below which type of display layout do you prefer more, grid compact, grid or uh, list layout. I preferably would choose list because it looks more organized. But anyways, let's scroll down and check out if there are some new settings. I would also like to try out the dark theme. So in the dark theme on Skyline Edge, it's not completely black it's brownish tints after using the basic version of skyline emulator i think this theme is little bit uh, new for me so i like to keep it at dark theme dark mode has been enabled you can also use a profile picture but other than that few sections have been changed so audio section has been now brought at the top of the main settings after that we have gpu settings gpu con driver configuration our usual settings like post triple buffering executor slot count scale executor flush threshold direct memory import etc you can apply the settings which i am using for better gameplay experience in skyline emulator i have enabled fast gpu read back and writes and below that we get input and that's going to be it for the settings of skyline emulator there has been few improvements in terms of performance too so today uh, let's take a look at the legend of zelda breath of the wild gameplay experience in the latest update of skyline edge So let me click on it and there has been another change which I personally did not like the color of on screen controls has been changed from gray transparent gray to white which I don't understand it doesn't look that good I do believe that in uh, settings in on screen control settings we can actually change the opacity as well as color of these controls it's a hassle so I would rather prefer the original controls more but here we go the loading of legend of zelda i won't be cutting this part because some people say skyline emulator four stops a lot while loading games so let's see if it actually crashes and i think we survived here we go our game has successfully started We are in Rito stable and you can see there are already a lot of graphical issues with this game the texture seems to be of very low resolution i am using OnePlus 11 to emulate this game that's why i am getting around 30 fps emulation test on this device will be coming on my second channel aptrix which i link in description box below uh, i have already tested out triple a nintendo switch games on my OnePlus 11 android device which has snapdragon 8 gen 2 because of it we are getting some decent performance but the emulator does have some issues like there is lot of freezing issue in legend of zelda breath of the wild so i think that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with latest updates of skyline see you guys goodbye